Hey, welcome back to the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. Again, my name is Dan Inman. I'm a local realtor here in the area. Today, we're gonna cover the five reasons why you may not wanna move to Chesapeake. Let's hit it. Welcome back to the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. My name is Dan Inman. I'm an active realtor here in the area. I run a small company called Inman Home Services with Creed Realty. My wife and I help families move in and out of the area, make it as smooth and clean as possible. If we can help serve your family, we would love to. Please reach out, give us a ring, shoot us a text. We are the ones that pick that up, respond to those texts, give us a ring, let us help you out. Reason number one, home prices in this area relative to the surrounding areas are about five to 10% more expensive than looking at say Norfolk or uh, Portsmouth or Newport News. We're hair below Virginia Beach, but not by much. But in comparison to say like Boston, Massachusetts, we're about 62% less expensive than them. If you're looking at like Alexandria or DC area, we're about yeah, I'd say 50% less. If you're comparison it to say a big city in New York City or Connecticut, um, we're about in the range of anywhere between 50 to 60% less than those markets. So what does that actually look like? You know, a 2,000 to 2,500 square foot home is going to start probably around $300,000, but the average for the area is about $358,000. The new construction average, right there in the 425, 450 range. Again, I always like to mention a few new construction folks that I think just are doing it right. Kerber Homes, Home Associates of Virginia, Herndon Builders, Dragas is still in that category. And of course, my all-time favorite still remains Stephen Alexander Homes. Special shout out. If you're moving out to Chesapeake, you know, you can see kind of behind me, we're in the outdoors today. But if you're moving out here to be on the river, homes that are on the water, again, around $450,000. So they're gonna start somewhere around that range. Any homes, if you need a big home, cause you got a big family or you just like your space, anything over 3,000 square feet, it's gonna start at over 450 grand, probably gonna be edging up there in the five and 600,000 range. If you need less space, you can look at condos and townhomes. That average over the last year has about been about 250, 260,000. If you're gonna move into a condo though, don't forget you have condo fees. The average over the last year has been about 180 bucks a month. All right, reason number two, one of my least favorite things on the planet Earth, mosquitoes. Uh, you, Sean, you, ever, you watch Dumb and Dumber, right? Yep. You know the song is like the most sound, annoying sound in the world? But yeah, mosquitoes, man, they are easily my most hated bug in the entire planet Earth. Chesapeake literally charges on part of your property taxes for mosquito control. The number one culprit of all this, the Asian tiger mosquito uh, is the number one species that's in this area. You can literally see the little stripes on there. Um, those are the little buggers that are coming after you when you smack and splat and you get all that blood on there. Again, if I go out with my family, they don't have to worry about it because I'm the one that attracts all of them. I get bit, everybody else is safe. So again, if you need to go out for a beer, go out here in the, in the wild, you need somebody that's a human mosquito trap, I'm your guy. As a reminder, mosquitoes are mostly attracted to stagnant water, not running water. So if you have a yard, you wanna make sure that any standing water is tipped over and done. You actually go out and buy these like little donut looking things you can throw in the water. But it has bacteria in there that kills the eggs. That's one way to help get rid of them. But really, if you really wanna get rid of them, you gotta to talk to someone like Mosquito Joe or Mosquito Authority. A lot of these companies will give you a one-time free service so you can experience what that's like. You know, my previous house that where I lived in Norfolk, mosquitoes were awful absolutely terrible and i went out uh two months before i was about to sell my house and i was like you know i mean i gotta get this thing 
you know, wrapped up. I can't have somebody going in the backyard and not buying my house because of mosquitoes. Paid for the service and I just could not believe the difference. I was basically punching myself so like that I didn't do this way, way earlier. So pay for the service, get rid of those mosquitoes. You can also go out, anytime you're gonna go out here in nature, especially during the summer, they tend to bite during the daytime, get yourself some of that, uh, you know, DEET, or uh, you can go out there and you get that some nice organic stuff too, but it's not gonna be as powerful. Really, it needs to have a high amount of citronella. You can go around in your yard, you can plant citronella plants all you want, but really the spray is what's gonna make the difference. All right, reason number three, you gotta drive to freaking everything. The average commute time for the, as what would you call them, a Chesapeakean? Chesapeakean is 26 minutes. Um, Sean and I were just do, r driving around doing some B-roll and we were just commenting like, there are very few sidewalks in a lot of, of the neighborhoods. It's a distance to any type of shopping. I'm talking haircuts, mom and pop stores, restaurants, everything is a 10, 15, 20 minute drive. So you can't survive without a car. I think the statistic I read said that something like 70% of people who live in Chesapeake own between two and five cars. Now that may just be because uh, the millennial guy is staying at home with mom and there's, you know, it's a household and so there's an additional car, but uh, that's the statistics. To add to all of this, Chesapeake has six freaking bridges. They all open up at different times. They have regular schedules. There's some of them that the things come through randomly. I got stuck at one the other day, spent 25 minutes sitting, waiting for, you know, a boat to go through so that I could get to my next appointment. Had a call and, you know, lucky for me, I had my phone with me and I can do nearly everything on my phone, to able to get some work done, but it can just be incredibly irritating. Not to mention that uh, Chesapeake is basically the pathway for the Outer Banks. So anyone that's going on vacation during the summer, they're traveling through Chesapeake to get to the Outer Banks, which adds to that summer traffic time. Do not forget Easy Pass. Easy pass, easy pass, it's gonna save you money. What's unique to Chesapeake though, is you actually have to go and register for their specific, I don't know, called loyalty program, if you will. We'll put the link below in the description so that you can do that. Otherwise, you're not saving money. It just takes money out of your easy pass with zero savings. So you have to sign up for that for it to actually take place. The, the estimate or the calculator on that actual website shows that you could save about $1,000 per year just from Monday through Friday travel. And considering that something like 60% of all residents in Chesapeake work outside of Chesapeake, then it's probably gonna make sense for the majority of. Number four, I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Lack of shopping and or uh, it's just chain shopping. Bland, normal. We're talking Dick Sporting Goods, Walmarts, Targets. Nothing against them. But if you're huge into the local scene, if you like local shopping, if you like the mom and pops, um, they do exist. But I would easily say more than half of the shopping out here in Chesapeake is chain stores. If you want your dollar to go local, you gotta seek those things out. Reason number five, septics and wells. This is something that happens, um, anything that was built out in the farm country didn't have uh, city water or city sewer to connect to. Um, you're basically drilling a big old hole in the ground, dropping a pump down there, sucking up water and using it for your house. Now, the benefit here is that you don't have to pay the city for the water, right? You're basically just paying for the electricity for the pump to get the water out of the ground. Downside is, is now you've got maintenance and all the things that come along with that. You have to go out and get your septic tank actually inspected anytime you sell. Uh, that's a couple hundred dollars that you gotta do. Every two to three years for your septic tank, you gotta get that thing pumped out. That's another couple hundred bucks. If that thing goes bad, you're looking at five to 10 grand, maybe even up to 25, depending on the size or the complexity of the job. I would highly recommend if you're going to do, you know, find a place and you really love it, and you're like, hey, I'll tolerate this well thing, go ahead and get yourself a water softener. It's going to change the taste of the water. It's gonna change how it showers. It's gonna feel a lot better. You know, granted, that's gonna be a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars to put that system in, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it. On um, one last little tidbit, when they go to pump that septic tank out, you either don't wanna be home for that or you make sure you shut all the doors because guess what you're gonna be smelling? I'm just pooping, you know how I be. Yeah, anyway, well, that's the five reasons why you may not wanna to move to Chesapeake. It's still a great city, tons to do, lots of outdoors, all that kind of stuff, but those may keep you away. Again, my name is Dan Inman. This is the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you could hit that little subscribe down at the bottom, if you find this content helpful, if you'll hit the little like button, let me know I'm doing things right. I would absolutely love to help your family make the transition here smooth and easy. I'm the guy that answers the phone, responds to the texts, responds to the emails. 
any form of communication that works best for you. Carrier pigeon, if you wanna throw a Frisbee with a freaking note on it, I'm your guy. Let's do this. See you guys.